Good morning, Battlefield Prayer Warriors. Good morning, Bahamas. Good morning, world. This today is Saturday, the 23rd of March, 2024. I'm here on the battleground of Bougainville Park, South Beach. Uh, to lift up the name of Jesus, to push back the darkness. This is a spiritual warfare. This is my lifestyle. And um, the weather is, is, is bad. I, you, can, you can see the weather conditions overcast and they expect a whole lot of stuff to go on in the day but i want you to be encouraged today that the lord is our god he hasn't changed and i see it as just beauty um some people will complain about the will, will complain about the, the rain the lightning the thunder and a lot of events are being postponed um, because of the rain and the light and just justly so um God doesn't force himself on anybody. But I want you to know and understand that the Lord our God is righteous and he's holy. Now in the background you would be seeing uh, the homeless guy. And I can say a lot of persons gather here and then and then the cover of darkness to sleep. But the the floor on which they sleep on is totally wet. So you know the conditions they would have. And so as the Lord has placed me here under this island tree, and I'm looking for a place here. And I need your support, uh, financial support, and, and otherwise praying support, and the like, that uh, we could find a place here. I see something, but uh, I want you to get involved. Help me, please, to help these people. Um, I don't think it's right that humans should be out in the elements. And most of us have nice, Nice dogs that go to dentists and everything, and these persons. Irregardless, yeah, I just want to say what the scripture said. I was hungry, I was naked, I was all those different things. And, and if you and you didn't even do it unto me, you do it unto them, you do it unto me. So the Lord wants us to really be focused on what He has called us to do, and not just on what we want to do, but to be righteous in all our doing. And so. You say, well, what you doing out here? Well, I, this is something the Lord has placed. This is my, my assignment of being abandoned to God. And I just, just want you, want the world to know that there are elements, regardless of what's going on. You may not get out of your house today, but, and the choice is yours, but there are others who are, who are languishing today. And so when we see this need, we need to help our brothers and sisters in every aspect um, that we can. Um, but the Lord our God is faithful and He is just in all things. But lend yourself to the Lord. Lend yourself to the Lord this day and let Him pick you up and do what you got to do. And it's all for the glory and honor of God. When you look back, I've been reminiscing and looking back over the, over the circumstances and situations in my life. And and you know, you try to do stuff, uh, say it's pleasing to God. Um, and there's a lot of good stuff we do. But is it the stuff that God tell us to do? And so that's the place I'm at, um, trying to do what He say do, as opposed to doing some very good things in the community, like my um, other brothers and sisters in the Lord are doing. And I'm not knocking it, I'm just saying, um, you could get carried away with it. And so I, I pray that. The Spirit of the Lord is guiding me and to guide you and guide all my fellow ministers and colleagues and the whole nation, especially our Prime Minister. He's spirit led by the, by the Holy Spirit to, to do all that he's supposed to do for this country and for the people individually, collectively, in every sphere, not being selective. And so I want you to be encouraged today that, irregardless of what you're facing, regardless of the weather conditions or any conditions you face, the mountains, the word is still trust God. Don't want to put nothing more onto it. Don't want to take nothing away from it. But when we put our place, our faith in God, he brings great results. And they are good. They're clean and nice. And they are uplifting. Sometimes you'll be walking and you're ready. What you, are you, why are you feeling like this? Something about you. Begin to ask. 
um, identified as something that's just causing you to feel good, and you're trying to identify what it is. But it is the Lord that's causing us to feel good and to look good in all circumstances. And so, just trust God, man. I just saying you know, trust God. I said this last week, and I continue to say it to you today, that you must trust God because I seen it today at 5:30 p.m. Prison Fellowship Bahamas will be having an award ceremony, and we trust in God for the weather be favorable so that honorees will be able to come out. You know, they are senior, senior positions, senior citizens. But you know, we pray that everybody come together and we have this event passed. It. But we also are praying for. We're praying for uh, those who will be facing um, the brunt of this this um, weather condition. I just listen to Clint Watson said, Abaco and Grand Bahama are going to experience some heaviness of this. And so we want to lift them up. Father, in the name of Jesus, we lift up our brothers and sisters on the various islands of this archipelago. Wherever this, this, this um, weather condition is going over, Lord, keep them safe through the eyes of this storm. Um, you have your eye upon us, O oh God, and so we ask for your complete protection and sustenance that things will not overwhelm us by what we see, but we will continue to walk by faith. Hey, we dispel the plans of the enemy, and they will not come to fruition. They shall not come to pass. They shall not take root. They will fall. They shall fall this day, and every day is raised its head, and I bind them right now in the name of Jesus that the success of this, this constituency in which I stand in South Beach and its duly elected member of parliament, Barker's Road, and his family will be protected from the wiles of the enemy. Lord, as they continue to seek your face, seek through your word, they'll gain strength and protection and sustenance. And so we continue to pray for our people. We continue to pray for our country. We continue to pray for that the weather conditions of this day, March 23rd, will be favorable and March 24th, in the name of Jesus, that we will survive it. We will not be victim in the name of Jesus. And Father, those ones who are on the streets and who are, who are driving um, erratically and not driving with due care attention, they are just um, driving just for the speed of it. And the traffic fatalities now are, are marching that of that of, of murder. And so, Father, yes, we come, we come against those spirits. I come against them. I bind them. And, Father, on this plane on which I am, on Bougainville Park, and in the heavenly place, in heavenly places in Christ Jesus with the authority of the Holy Spirit, I decree and declare that the righteousness of God shall prevail in this place, that we are the head and not the tail. We are above and not beneath. We are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. And so we walk today. And I declare this day and every following day, that everything we do and we, what we say in all prayers that we encounter, that we lift up to heaven, it shall get beyond our ceilings, get beyond the skies, and it will not be hanged up by the enemy. And we thank you, God, that we have victory and power and might. We shall do great exploits in you, God. Give us the strength. For your word declares that when the enemy comes in like a flood, you lift up a standard. You already lift us up. Help us out of the faith and to continue to see that we are lifted up and you are strengthening us. And you said you are honoring your word above your name. And so whatever you said you will do for us, it's already been done by the shared blood of Christ. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. And so, Father, I give you all the praise, the honor and the glory. And I thank you that you are perfecting this thing, not me. Boy, God, this will, this will feel good. This feels good. This wind is blowing good. It's better than any air condition. So, Lord, I thank you. I praise you. And I magnify you. I glorify you this day, O oh God. Hear our prayers, not as we in repetition for sincerity of our hearts. You know our hearts, our thoughts. You said you know us from afar off. And so, Father, have thine own way with us this day. Bless us with heavenly blessings. Not with man's blessings, but with heavenly blessings. And we know that men as, as your tool that we could use and so father i i speak in the realm of the spirit i speak as your weapon of war i speak as your end time warrior i speak as your battle axe that i go forth in the spirit and destroy every works of the enemy in the mighty name of jesus 
that none of the plants will come to, come to fruition. Everything will be cut. We consider it void. Hallelujah. God, I thank you. Lord, I thank you that you will perfect in these things. Father, those persons who have who, are, who, who roofs are going to be affected by this and have leaks. Father, we thank you that it's just only repairs and roof that we may have to do. But Lord, curb the, the rain that we have a profusion of leaks and houses on this day and any future day that repairs will be made in the name of Jesus. So Lord, I thank you. I praise you. I magnify you. God, I thank you for this almond tree that you're directing unto in the name of Jesus. I give you all the praise. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that our Prime Minister and his travels will be safe. We cover him with the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Cover him, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Philip Edward David, the Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of the Crown. We cover him. We cover his deputy, I. Chester Cooper, uh, who is moving about the country in this day, and all the governmental ministers of this day. Father, we thank you that they covered and protected their families. All will go well. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. I come against the enemy and all those, any secret organizations that are trying to take hold of them. I bind them as well. But Lord, that the will of God will be manifest. The will of God will be to take root in the name of Jesus. That the spoken word in their hearing will germinate and grow largely inside them in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. I praise you. I magnify you. Thank you for your grace. I thank you for your peace. Thank you for all things. In the mighty name of Jesus the Christ. Some of us say, Yeshua HaMashiach. Sila, 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 think and act on these things. The word of God is your pivot point. And you should always use that as your guide. As in, in Parliament, they use Robert Fools of order to guide them. So you let the word of God. It's not a book. It is your instruction. It is basic instruction before leaving earth. And so you live accordingly. I love you. Do well. Continue to praise God in all things, for he is your righteousness. Embrace the righteousness of God. Shalom.